Well, what's up guys and welcome back to Project Time Garage. Well, this is gonna be installment number four of the little Honda Spree project um, that I got from a family member that had been sitting for a very long time with water pouring directly on it. Um, to say it was a mess is an understatement. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link to that first video uh, here if you guys wanna go back and check it out. So we've came a long way with this thing. Um, we fixed a lot of little things that were wrong with it. Uh, we've got it running. We've, we've gotten a few parts for it. In fact, we've gotten a lot of parts for a lot of sprees. More to come on that here in a minute. In the last installment of this video series, you saw us get the thing running. You saw her ride it and uh, it did pretty good. What you didn't see is not long after we finished that, that video or not long after I turned the camera off, it started to, uh, the clutch started to slip. It wouldn't pull well anymore. Uh, the further we went, the worse it got and, until finally it, it just quit pulling all together. So that's the first thing we're gonna tackle in this episode. We're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of. We're gonna get a few little things cleaned up like the horn. We're gonna put a horn on this thing, absolutely. Like I said, she is dying to have the horn working and I don't blame her. Um, we are going to do what we can to beautify it. I mean, obviously, uh, you're asking a lot of the plastic to come back. It's, it's beyond shot. I know you could probably spend hours sanding and wet sanding and then polishing and buffing and cutting and all that. We probably will go ahead and put a buffing wheel to it and see if we can use some medium or light uh, compound or plastic polish on a low speed buffer and see what that does. And if that doesn't work, we might get to an inconspicuous spot and whip out the high speed and see what that does. Um, but I'm not gonna expect miracles. It's, it's, it's pretty far gone as far as the plastics go. Anyway, um, I said there's more to come on the other sprees. So once we finish this, this spree project up, um, which should be this episode, by the way, this should finish it. Once we're done with this spree and we put it to bed and she starts riding it as her general driveway transportation, it's not the end of the spree series, serieses for this channel, not by a long stretch. Um, if you remember in a previous episode, I, uh, I did kind of a project update. I'll link that here. There, um, I bought an entire lot of sprees and spree parts. There's a couple of 87s. There's a white 84 or five. There's a couple more 86s, I think, in there. And enough engines and wheels and tires and plastics and just, I mean, literally boxes full of stuff. So um, when this one's finished, I'll probably go ahead and roll right into an 87. I've got a couple of really nice 87s. One in particular, really nice 87, black one. So we'll dive probably right into that one and get it up and going see what we got um so so way more to come on that anyway without further ado let's get rolling on this Well, judging by how much stuff comes out of there, I would say we have no clutch left. Got it. Yep. That's what happened. All right, going back together with it. We just happened to find a... Uh, Find another one in our stash. Wanted to clean up the outside of that so that the starter gears would engage Way better. better. Way better. Much better. Too much better. I don't want to break it.
There we go. I believe we have ourselves a clutch again. Just that easy. All right. I think all we need to do is start putting it back together. Okay, that should be done. We should have a clutch again. So, new horn. I went through every horn I have in my stash and on all my parts bikes and every one of them are bad. So, um, I went ahead and jumped on the Amazons and found a horn, nice and cheap. Hopefully it works. I'll drop a link down below in the description of where I got this just in case you find yourself in the same position I did. So let's put a horn on a spree. Pretty sure it's not polarity sensitive. Let's see if it works. Wow, I'd say it works. <laughs> She's gonna love that. Okay, that job's done. Next, let's put the fairing on here. I assume they call it a fairing. Okay, we've got our fairing on there. It's not bolted on, but I want to check these lights before we keep going. Awesome, all right. So that's good. Let's bolt it on. Another thing we we're gonna do before we put the side panels on, I wanna go ahead and make sure that the oil injection system is working. Right now, I just have pre-mixed gas in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the reservoir and we're gonna start the bike and I'm just going to keep watching this tube and we're gonna see if anything gets in there. We may have to bleed the pump, uh, don't know. It actually looks like there's already a little bit in the in the tube there. We'll start it up and we'll watch and we'll see what happens. I've just unplugged the tube and I've got my finger over the vacuum leak that I've caused and we're just going to wait a little bit and see what happens. I actually see the oil starting to come up through the tube slowly. It's just kind of pulsing. It actually has tons and tons of, oil, of air in the line. So I'm just, well, there comes some oil dripping out. I'm going to go ahead and get a vacuum tee or a vacuum cap to put over this vacuum leak where the oil hose attaches, and we're just gonna run it for a while. I'm just gonna temporarily stick this, this vacuum cap over the spot where the oil line attached, just to keep the, uh, the vacuum leak in check.
figure I might as well go ahead and play around with the carburetor a little bit. I've really not messed with it at all. It seemed kind of boggy, kind of lean to me. Lean it out a little more even. Bring that idle down. That's much better. So I got the pump primed. I actually ended up using a turkey baster. I pulled the hose off and stuck the baster on there. I squeezed this, stuck the baster on there, and then let go and let it do some, you know, create some suction against the pump. And that seemed to do the trick. So I'm sure there's a procedure to bleed these, and I'm sure I didn't follow it. So let me shut it off, pull my vacuum cap, and hook the oil line back up. All right, we should have oil again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it one more time. I just want to make sure that the oil gets from here into the, this little remaining whatever it is, half an inch. And then we'll drain the fuel out, replace it with uh, standard gasoline, straight gas. All right, I'm starting to be able to smell the oil more now, which means it's getting too much oil. So before I go foul on a spark plug, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drain that gas out and refill it with just regular straight gasoline. We'll put the side panels back on it. So we have drained it. Now, let's fill it up with just standard gasoline. No oil mix. All right, full tank. Ten millimeter acorn nuts. And I certainly don't have enough of those to go around. So we have this panel. We have this one. I need to take this this uh, Kickstarter off and re-index it this way. It's interfering. It'll be okay for a second, but can't stay that way. Okay, with the exception of these clips here and this one bolt in the front. pretty good shape. There we go. Well, there we are. It's completely assembled now. Okay, the spree is finished. She has transportation in the driveway now. All that's left is for her to ride off in the sunset with it. So Miss Addison, there are your keys. Thank you. Ride off into the sunset.
So it's a wrap on the spree. It's been a fun project. This thing has came from absolute rags to riches. Maybe not riches, but rags to not quite so much rags. Very like dirty and bad and moldy and ugh. All the things she said it came from. And now it's a runnable, usable, drivable, functioning machine again. It's pretty good. I assume she's gonna get a lot of enjoyment riding this thing up and down the driveway. Um, as usual, guys, I really appreciate you hanging in here and watching through this series. The little spree may not go away. It may make a triumphant return to the big screen here at some point. She may decide to, you know, spruce it up or, or do something extra to it or, you know, install a, a, a stereo in it and tint the windows. <laughs> Who knows? Yes. Who knows what she... There aren't any windows, but anyway, she might she might decide to do some uh, some extra stuff to it here at some point. Can and if we she, add a radio? We might. I think they sell mirrors that have a radio built in them. <gasps> we might, might look at that. So uh, so we might do a few things to it at some point. But anyway, major part of the project's done. Enough to close this series out, um, guys. If you haven't already, um, subscribe to our channel. It really helps us. Make sure you hit that notification bell down there to be notified when we put out new videos. And um, uh, leave something in the comments if you have something to say. Uh, really appreciate it as usual. See you next time. Bye. I'm supposed to say see you next time. I'll see you next time. Bye.